Well, a beautiful afternoon across the two state today. Lots of sunshine checking in on our farm cam here from Beach Island saying hey to our cow friends out there. They're enjoying some beautiful weather again today. High temps near 80 degrees for most spots in the CSRA. Winds definitely not as much of a factor as what it was yesterday. They have really calmed down, generally staying between 5 to 10, but still some pretty dry air in place. So temperatures will cool off pretty quickly once we do get past sunset. Any plans for the rest of this evening and tonight? We're going to hang on to clear skies. Temperatures will be dropping through the 60s once we get past sunset and then eventually working their way down into the 40s again by daybreak tomorrow morning. So a little bit of a cool start to our Wednesday, but we are going to warm up quickly, uh, most likely close to a 30 degree jump between sunrise and lunchtime. And then as we head later into the afternoon, we are expecting those high temps to reach the mid 80s. Great weather to wash the car, truck, anything you got. Green light for that all the way through the rest of the work week. No rain our forecast until we get to later this weekend. And luckily for that rain this weekend, it looks like most of it should be confined to our Saturday and not include Sunday. Now, if you are going to be outside enjoying the beautiful weather over the next several days, just remember that the UV index this time of year is starting to get into the very high range. So running at around a nine for today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Once we bring in our next cold front and the threat for some rain, the UV index will drop a little bit uh, Saturday, but just make sure during those peak heating hours between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. That's when that sun angle is most intense and where you're most vulnerable to sun damage. Now here's a look at our current tips across the country. You can see a dip of cooler air across the mountain northwest and then also across the northeast. That's where we do have a couple dips in our jet stream. That's what's helping separate this warm air and cool air at the surface. As we continue over the next couple of days, we're going to see this upper level ridge just kind of build over the southeast. This is where our temperatures above average are going to come into play Wednesday through Friday. Once we roll into the weekend, this is going to be our next trough, and this is what's not only going to bring our temperatures down into the weekend, but also the threat for a few showers and thunderstorms. You can see how those temperatures really drop, though. We are going to see uh, temperatures a few degrees above average through Friday and then dropping back below average Saturday and Sunday. And by Sunday, we'll likely stay into the 60s, more than 10 degrees below where we should be for this time of year. The good news is for that weekend outlook, all the rain should be confined to Saturday. By the time we get to Saturday evening, Saturday night, most of this rain is clearing the region. We're back to sunshine Sunday, but it is going to be a little bit breezy Sunday with those winds uh, potentially as high as 20 miles an hour at times. Here's a look at our, our just kind of setup over the next couple of days. So that upper level ridge combined with surface high pressure going to keep our skies clear. We're going to see more warmer conditions as uh, those winds do turn out of the south southwest. This is going to be that cold front that does show up for the weekend ahead of it. We're going to see just kind of some scattered coverage of showers and potentially even some thunderstorms. Right now, it looks like the severe weather risk is going to remain very low for us here in the CSRA, but something that we'll have to keep a close eye on if the timing of this does change. But at the moment, all this does clear us by Saturday night. So we're back to beautiful weather to close out the weekend. Here's a look at the full seven day forecast. Enjoy the warm, sunny conditions for the rest of the work week and then keep an eye on those storm chances for the weekend. Thanks, Riley. A local private school.